So I'm Pierre from Softran, um, and I'll be presenting first very quick. Uh, I'll be quick on the presentation, the slideshow, just to give you an idea of what Softran does. Uh, so Softran is a company that does broadcast software on the Mac since 30 years. Uh, so broadcast software, uh, when you hear about that, what is exactly broadcast software? Well, we have a wide range of solution and different software. We don't do the editing part that will leave to uh, Final Cut Pro and, and Premiere. Uh, what we do is software that goes from ingest, so we, we can record video, we use standard Mac Pros with video card from Blackmagic AJ, and we can record the signal that, that, it gets, that it's getting in, or we can play it out. We can play out for live show for 24-7 or, or whatever. Um, so why on the Mac? Well, first, we love the Mac. We are Mac guys, Mac geeks, and so we, we do a lot with that. And for us, it's the most reliable platform that is there uh, for a few reasons. Uh, the OS is very simple to use also, so you, it's really, uh, if you have users, they can really get along and be, uh, be ready to use. It's simple to test also. It means that there are few configurations if you go with a PC environment or things like that. Well, you will have to uh, know which uh, motherboard it is and all different parameters that you don't always know. With the Mac platform, as it's closed, it's also best to test and to know which configuration works or not. Um, and there's just one system to know. We basically, what we focus on is on Mac-minded broadcasters that are already using the Mac for editing or things like that. If they want to start editing or playing out or things like that, they don't have to move to a different platform. They don't have to know something else. They don't have to come with a box. They'll just come put the Mac Pro and the Mac will do the broadcast and, and everything. So it's really easier and it's cost effective as well because the tech guys, they only need to know what platform, one way of no doing things, and that's why we do it. It's using off-the-shelf computers. So it's something, you know, that sometimes uh, computers, hardware can go wrong. It fails. If it fails and if you have a box that you have purchased from somewhere, and how do you do if it fails and you have an urgent need? you don't always have the ability to receive it quick. While when working with off-the-shelf computer, you can go to an Apple store or find someone or even learn from somebody. There's been cases where we have TV station that broadcast with our software, then the hardware, the Mac was down, and they just went to the, an editing station, took the Mac there. Well, he had to stop editing, <laughs> but at least they were able to take the Mac put it uh, in a few minutes, put a video card in it, and start broadcasting again. So that's really helpful. And it's also future-proof uh, for various reasons. Uh, but uh, we know, for example, as I said, we, we've been doing that since 30 years. And we have customers that have been using the same Mac and the same software since 10 years, and just playing out all day long and so on. So it's really, we know it's reliable, and we know also that any case, again, because it's off the shelf computer, they can just replace it. So we think it's really future proof. And if they want, if things evolve, they can replace uh, maybe some part, just a computer and so on. So these are the few reasons why we think the Mac in the broadcast environment is really the best platform. Uh, just very quick again, the different software we have. We have on the air video for play out, just playlists, you drag and drop clips in it and start playing. On the air manager, that's the kind of software used for scheduling, you see it's kind of calendar user interface. Uh, on the SCG, that's the CG application to do graphics, overlay, and so on. Movie recorder, I'll explain that and I'll show a better demo with uh, what we do exactly with that. And the replay as well. And multicam logger, that's the software that we use in, in live environment. So we use standard video cards from Blackmagic AJ, but we have also some hardware boxes like that, but it's small box, one tenable cable, and you can have different combinations that we have there, eight input, six in, two out, and so on. Uh, we have done that because it's really easy sometimes for customers to just get everything from us, connect that to the Mac, and be ready in a few minutes. So, quick demo. The replay software, it's the uh, only instant replay solution on a Mac. Uh, so what's an instant replay? If you don't know, it's uh, something that, that you use mainly in a sports environment where you will have uh, something that is playing and maybe there will be something that will happen, an important moment that you want to replay instantly because that there is a goal for football or something else happening. So what you can do is that you can 
stop the playback. So imagine that you have six inputs, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is an output. You can configure the viewers the, the way you want. So here I can say that I want to view, let me zoom in a little bit. So I can set on that viewer, I want to view the input, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and or the, the output. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one is an output. And when I select an output, then on the right hand side, I can select which input I'm previewing in the output. So if I change there, you see that it changes the camera. Okay, so basically what you'll do is, okay, something just happened, and you can control with keyboard shortcuts. We have a hardware control as well. You go back in time with some keyboard shortcuts, JKL, if you have Final Cut and an editor, you know what's JKL. Go back, okay, I want to replay that, and I can just hit play, and I replay in slow motion what just happened, and I can simply change the angle, there are keyboard shortcuts all the way day long, so I can replay the moment that I just wanted. So it's just really quick, as you've seen, something happens, go back in time, be ready, so the, uh, the director can say, oh, start the, uh, the, the replay, and that's it. The other type of use is to do a uh, highlight, so you have the sports, again, it's really for sports, uh, going on, and you want to uh, have something ready at the end to uh, show the important moments that happened. So what you'll do is you'll go back and find the important moments that happen. I'll go very quick, use I for an endpoint, a little bit further, and I'll hit O to set an out point. You see here, there's a little dot that says there is an endpoint. And as soon as I'll hit O to, for the out point, it will create a clip. And that clip, I can use it in a playlist. And here. I've used the same keyboard shortcuts as the ones you know in Final Cut Pro 10. So as W, it will append to the, to the end. Or is that the one? <laughs> OK, so it will add the clip at the end of the playlist. And you can simply start playing it. I say, in my playlist, I will output there and I can start playing back my clips. You can play back in slow motion here. For each clip, you can set I want to play at which speed and using which angle. So it's really doing a highlight that you can play. I will even change that. And this playlist will play at the end, and you have your all your clips that you can replay. As you've seen, we, we try to do software that are easy to use. I don't know if there are other uh, replay, instant replay that you can understand. Basically, you have seen what it's possible to do, and it's quite, quite flexible and easy to use. Then when you're done with the production, what you can do is you can export the clips. So we'll export all the clips that you have isolated. But we also have a send to Final Cut Pro 10, set where you want to uh, import that. And here, it sends an XML, and you'll find the playlist here that you have created. That should be the last clip that I have edited. But you'll find all the different angles and the multicam clip we have created automatically and the playlist. So you can rework on that if you have something, somebody that has worked on highlight, but you want to fine tune it, add some effects, and so on. It's really quick to do. As you've seen, there is no, no big deal about it. So that's quick demonstration of uh, the replay software. Now for the movie recorder part. So movie recorder is a software uh, that uses growing file. There are many things you can do with movie recorder, but the growing file, it's the idea that you uh, can immediately start working with a file while it's still growing, while it's still recording. So it's really used in, again, live environment, a lot of sports, but also a lot of different use. Basically, when you are uh, in a hurry, and who is not in a hurry when you're doing production? But basically, if you don't have a growing file, you have to wait that the recording is over, and only at that moment you can take the file and start editing. With Move Recorder, you, we can work on growing files. And um, so uh, there are other things that you can do. As I said, with Move Recorder, we are using standard video cards from AJ and Sun and Blackmagic. And here, we have a setup of where we have two sources. 
these are the two uh, boxes that are connected, so the two Ultra Studio 4K, where we have the signals getting from the different cameras. I don't know, I think it's that one and that one. Getting in there, Thunderbolt cable to the Mac, and we can see the, uh, the incoming format. You see it's 1080p30. And so we have the sources over there, and you, have, you see another uh, location where you can set the destination. So a destination is a few things, and mainly it's you set a place where you want to record to, and you see we are recording on the jellyfish that is down there. So we have here another Thunderbolt cable going to that box, and Ethernet uh, cable 10 gig to that uh, jellyfish. So we have said that we want to record to the jellyfish and to the classic and the presets. You said, OK, I want to record to uh, that codec. A preset is a codec. It's a video codec, audio settings. We can do all kinds of things. Again, we do quite powerful, I believe, uh, software, but always try to keep the use simple. So users can go in front of it and really get the grasp quite quick. But also, if you want to go deeper and find uh, really high-end uh, solutions. One feature that I always like to, to show because I think it's quite, uh, quite powerful and it's really uh, needed is that you know that there's nothing worse when you're doing production that uh, to have to rename the files and have files that are called untitled recordings and things like that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So what we have done is uh, we have done the ability to use tokens is to give automatic names to the file. So you can use those tokens. So you can use year, month, day, counter, uh, hour, minutes, and the source name. So the source name will be the, so the name that I've given here. If you go back, camera one, camera two. And let's go back here. And destination name. So that's the destination, because uh, you, you can set different name for the destination. Uh, what's really nice is that you can add also a, a slash here. You see that I have added a slash in the custom naming. And that will create automatically a subfolder. Uh, so it's really useful to keep things organized. For example, like this, I, have, I will create a subfolder uh, that starts with the month and day. And you can see it's here. I can even set the way uh, the month will be named. And I have set it to be uh, like January. So it will be April 24th. OK? So that really helps you keep things organized. So if I have a look here at what we are currently recording, so during the demonstration I've been recording, and I can use that little uh, magnifying glass to show me what I'm recording. So you can see that we are recording on the jellyfish. It says SMB uh, shared in that folder. And I have created that subfolder automatically. And the file is named with our time seconds and the source name, then destination, and that's the counter uh, that is added to the file. So you see it's really useful, and you, it keeps things organized. Okay.